From tropical islands to dystopian wastelands to the farthest reaches of the universe, here's where you've seen the cast members of Amazon's music mockumentary Daisy Jones and the Six before. Daisy Jones' lead, Riley Keough, has music in her blood. She's the granddaughter of King of Rock and Roll Elvis Presley, as well as the daughter of Lisa Marie Presley and Danny Keough, both musicians in their own right. Riley Keough is also no stranger to musical dramas, as her first on-screen role was the 2010 biopic The Runaways, in which she played Marie Curie. More big-screen features followed, including Mad Max Fury Road, the crime caper Logan Lucky, the psychological horror flick The Lodge, and the A24 black comedy Zola. As for TV, in 2016, Keough was the lead on season one of the Stars anthology drama The Girlfriend Experience, an adaptation of the 2009 Steven Soderbergh drama starring former adult film star Sasha Grey. Keough took another leading TV role in 2022, this time on the Amazon thriller The Terminal List. The band at the center of Daisy Jones and the Six is led by Billy Dunn, who's played by English actor Sam Claflin. He's probably best known for his turns as Finnick in the Hunger Games series. He previously made his big-screen debut back in 2011 as Philip Swift, the young missionary captured by Blackbeard in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Sticking with the franchise work, Claflin also played William in Snow White and the Huntsman and its sequel. His other notable cinematic credits include the survival drama Adrift and the romance flicks Me Before You and Love Wedding Repeat. More recently, he starred in Netflix's Enola Holmes, in which he assumed the iconic role of Mycroft, the eldest Holmes sibling. And over on the small screen, from 2019 to 2022, Claflin was a regular cast member on the British crime drama Peaky Blinders as real-life politician Sir Oswald Mosley. We deal in reason, principle, argument, and fact. Former model Camilla Marone stars on Daisy Jones as Camilla Dunn, wife of band leader Billy. If you know her name but not her work, it's probably because of her controversial relationship with Leonardo DiCaprio, which ended shortly after she turned 25. Marone hasn't starred in anything huge yet, but she has shown up in a few notable movies. In 2018, she was one of the leads in the indie stoner comedy Never Going Back, and she played the daughter of Bruce Willis's vigilante character in the remake of Death Wish. And in 2020, she showed up in Valley Girl, a remake of the 1983 Nicolas Cage film of the same name. With a leading role on Daisy Jones, Marone is putting her modeling work behind her, as she focuses instead on her budding Hollywood career. As she told The Wall Street Journal in 2020, I think it's hard for the world and also the industry to be able to see you as both. Model-turned-actress Suki Waterhouse stars in Daisy Jones and the Six as keyboardist Karen, a headstrong musician determined to break the mold of women in show business. She's yet to have a true breakout role, but she has appeared in plenty of notable films, including the 2014 romantic dramedy Love, Rosie, which also featured Sam Claflin. She also played Kitty Bennett in 2016's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Waterhouse finally secured a leading role in The Bad Batch, in which she fought off a gang of deranged cannibals in a dystopian future. And then in 2019, she could be seen in Detective Pikachu as Ms. Norman, the genetically modified Ditto, and in the 2021 indie horror flick Seance. It's been a long time in the making, so we're, we're, I think we're ready. At this I love point. it. While several actors from Daisy Jones started out as models, Nabia B's first career makes her even more suited for a musical drama. She stars as Simone Jackson, best friend to Daisy Jones. Though B's career in Hollywood has barely begun, it's her life as a singer, songwriter, and Broadway actress that proves her bona fides. B has thus far appeared in just one feature film, but it's one of the biggest of all time, as she had a small role in 2018's superhero epic Black Panther. She played Linda Johnson, a highly trained black ops soldier and girlfriend of the villainous Eric Killmonger. Hailing from Brazil, B has received accolades for her stage work, including the Drama Desk Award for her performance in School Girls or the African Mean Girls play. She also played the role of Eurydice in the off-Broadway version of the Tony-winning Broadway musical Hades Town. Daisy Jones is her first major TV role, as she plays a disco star who mentors the title character. Among the relative newcomers of the Daisy Jones cast is Will Harrison, an Ithaca native who spent most of his young adult life in Massachusetts before attending Carnegie Mellon School of Drama. In 2019, at the age of 22, Harrison appeared on an episode of the CBS political drama Madam Secretary. A year later, he starred in the indie drama This Is A Film About My Mother. On Daisy Jones, he plays Graham Dunn, younger brother of Billy, and the group's lead guitarist and co-founder. It's a larger and meatier role than Harrison has ever played thus far in his career. He stands to gain serious attention from the series, as a strong performance could spotlight his talent on a larger stage and result in his big break. I, that's the story that I had heard, yeah. <laughs> 
Sebastian Chacon may have one of the biggest bodies of work among the lesser-known Daisy Jones cast members, as he's shown up in some of today's biggest TV hits. He started his Hollywood career with a small part on an episode of Madam Secretary before moving on to the USA techno-thriller Mr. Robot. From there, he showed up for a single episode on a bunch of other shows in a wide range of genres, including the Batman prequel Gotham and CBS's Sherlock Holmes series Elementary. Chacon eventually began snagging recurring roles, including two episodes of Pose, a three-story stint on Tales of the City, and finally, the part of Fly Rico on Penny Dreadful City of Angels. And as for the big screen, he had a key role in the 2022 indie thriller Emergency. Now that he's a series regular on a hotly anticipated show, he can finally call himself a star. In the role of guitarist Eddie Roundtree is little-known British actor Josh Whitehouse, who boasts a modest but impressive resume. If you've seen him before, it was likely on the BBC historical drama series Poldark, on which he was a main cast member for seasons three and four. The 2020 remake of Valley Girl was a starring vehicle for Whitehouse, as he played Randy, the 80s punk rocker who becomes the object of desire for a Los Angeles teenage girl. The previous year, he starred opposite Vanessa Hudgens in the Netflix holiday romance movie The Night Before Christmas, in which he played a 14th century knight transported to the modern day. Love is the first and foremost of all knightly virtues. In addition to Daisy Jones, Whitehouse is due to star in the upcoming The Happy Worker, as well as the animated film Ozzy, The Voice of the Forest. Tom Wright plays Teddy Price, the producer at the record company who first brings Daisy Jones to the attention of the six and sticks by their side as they rise to the top of the charts. A longtime veteran character actor, Wright is the kind of face you know you've seen but might have trouble placing. Starting his career out in the early 80s, it's possible you know Wright as the titular hitchhiker on the Creepshow 2 segment The Hitchhiker. You may also recognize him from any number of 80s and 90s favorites, as he racked up credits in plenty of movies from those decades, including Tales from the Hood. As for TV, Trekkies will no doubt remember him as the ill-fated transporter creation that was doomed to die on the Star Trek Voyager episode Tuvix. Meanwhile, sitcom fans may remember him from four episodes of Seinfeld as Mr. Morgan, the skeptical Yankee Stadium co-worker of George Costanza. After appearances on a number of hit dramas, Wright became a series regular on the BYU TV series Granite Flats as FBI agent Ezekiel Scott. More recently, he starred on the 2020 Netflix sitcom Medical Police, on which he played CDC director Patton. There may be only one man more important to Daisy Jones and the Six's success than producer Teddy Price, and that would be manager Rod Reyes. He's played by the legendary Timothy Oliphant, who's enjoyed a career bringing to life charming rogues and swaggering do-gooders. He's something of a modern-day John Wayne, as he's best known for playing a couple of iconic lawmen. First, there was U.S. Marshal Seth Bullock on the groundbreaking HBO western Deadwood. That led to his starring turn as Raylan Givens, the sharpshooting, steely-eyed, gunslinging marshal on FX's crime drama Justified, which is easily his most iconic work to date. Oliphant then showed off his funny side beginning in 2017 on the Netflix zombie sitcom Santa Clarita Diet alongside Drew Barrymore. Then he returned to the role of a marshal on season four of the anthology series Fargo. After playing himself on the sitcoms The Good Place and The Grinder, he played a marshal once again, but this time in a galaxy far, far away, on the Star Wars Disney Plus series The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. As for the movies, Oliphant's most notable roles include James Stacy in 2019's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Mickey in Scream 2 all the way back in 1997. And he's set to have a busy 2023 as he's due to return to the role of Raylan Givens for the miniseries Justified City Primeval. You might want to factor them items into the equation before you decide what you're going to do next. If you're a fan of crime dramas, you no doubt know the name, or at least the face, of Jacqueline Obradors. She has a recurring role on Daisy Jones as Lucia, but for the past several decades, she's been a small-screen stalwart, including on a couple of the most well-regarded crime dramas of their day. From 2001 to 2005, Obradors played Detective Rita Ortiz on NYPD Blue. She appeared in 80 episodes of the series, which led to guest appearances on plenty of other shows. She eventually landed another regular role, this time as another detective on the Amazon crime procedural Bosch, beginning with season 5. Though she's always been more of a TV actor, Obradors does have a few notable movie roles on her resume. Fans of the 2001 animated Disney sci-fi adventure Atlantis The Lost Empire may recognize her as the voice of teenage mechanic Audrey. She also appeared in the Wesley Snipes action thriller Unstoppable in 2004 and in 1998's action-adventure comedy Six Days, Seven Nights. 
Another relative newcomer to Hollywood, Aisha Harris, plays Bernie on Daisy Jones, which is her biggest part to date. A barber in her pre-acting days before she left Long Beach, California, Harris made her on-screen debut in 2017, when she appeared on an episode of the CW horror series Two Sentence Horror Stories. While Harris's role on Daisy Jones is a potential turning point in her career, it's not as if she's never been on a hit series. She's mostly had minor blink and you'll miss em roles, but maybe in 2022 you noticed her when she made a delivery on an episode of the ABC sitcom Abbott Elementary. She also made her big screen debut that same year in the anthology film Tell It Like a Woman, which was nominated for Best Original Song at the Oscars. 2023 is shaping up to be an even bigger year for Harris. In addition to playing Bernie, she's also signed up for the Netflix series Glamorous, on which she'll appear alongside Kim Cattrall in the story of a young gender non-conforming queer person who gets a gig working for a renowned makeup artist.